here in the UK, uh, we had uh, an ice cream company called Walls and they sold uh, all sorts of ice creams and lollies and they still do. They're a very popular brand. And uh, in the 90s, they actually produced uh, Jurassic Park uh, ice lollies. Here are the actual uh, packets from 1993. There's one for the Lost World as well. I remember both of these. I really clearly remember having a Lost World lolly and I vaguely remember having a Jurassic Park one at the height of its popularity. But today what we've got here is a Walls promotion pack which was actually given to uh, the vendors who were going to sell the ice cream. So the shops where you could actually buy the ice creams. So today we're going to open this up and take a closer look. So first we're going to start off by using a heat gun just to um, melt off the sellotape on the reverse side and uh, and then we're going to open it up and look at the wonders inside fantastic so on the top here we've got a paper pamphlet uh, on how to construct your point of sale kit and that's all contained in this box it hasn't been opened since 1993 so um, this is really exciting to see and uh, inside it tells you how to construct the point of sale, all the various components. I love this area down here. It gives some names to um, one of the point of sale pieces. It's called an illuminated seducer. This one's called a card flirter and this one's called a shelf wobbler. <laughs> On the back you actually get a better idea of how the point of sale is actually going to look. So you've got a plastic piece that bends over the top of the freezer where they sell the ice creams. Then there's a piece here that hangs over called a wobbler next to it. Um, and we'll have a look at all of those in the kit. And then there's a cardboard bit that you can build um, which will dispense leaflets for a competition to tie in with uh, the ice cream. And then there's even a freezer corner sticker to go on the top of your glass freezer. And it says here, remember, it's all about show business, so ensure you put up your point of sale material without delay and watch your sales grow from the biggest name in ice cream, Walls. Pretty cool. Next we have the leaflet dispenser, and this is actually made of cardboard and features some really nice artwork there of the T-Rex at the top. And this was intended to hold uh, little leaflets that were a promotional competition to time with the release of Jurassic Park. So it says 10,000 cinema tickets to be won, 250,000 dinosaur wall charts to be won. And you can actually find those wall charts on sale online uh, on eBay now. Uh, it says to enter the competition, you have to answer uh, these questions. So how many horns did a triceratops have? And then it says, question two, complete this sentence in 12 words or less. I think dinosaurs would choose Wall's ice cream because and then you have to send that in. So this is the flat net. You'd actually pop this out and fold it to actually turn it into a sort of a cardboard holder as displayed on the front of the fridge there. Next, we've got this clear plastic wobbler. And actually this matches the artwork seen on the packet. You can see there. But the artwork is actually much crisper on this and you can really see all the lovely pen and ink work on that and I love the fact it's on a clear piece of plastic. So this is a wobbler and it would have attached like this and as you open the fridge it would have wobbled <laughs> around. I love the fact that it's a green Tyrannosaurus Rex as well. Somehow uh, sort of looking forwards to the lost world even at this point. Terrifyingly good 28p Okay, so next we have the actual leaflets, the entry forms that were actually included in the point of sale. You can see there's multiple copies here. And there's the dinosaur wall chart that you could win 250,000 of them. Again, we've got that same repeated artwork from the, uh, from the entry form holder. Next, we've got some adhesives which haven't been used, and that's to attach the signs to the actual fridge. We've got some nice poster artwork for the vendor owner to put up in the window to further promote this uh, competition. And obviously it would encourage 
punters to come into the shop and uh, not only buy the ice cream, but look around the shop as well. Next, we have probably one of my most favorite pieces out of this. And it's um, a beautiful piece of dinosaur artwork. You can see it very closely matches the T-Rex scene in Jurassic Park, the female Rex. And this is quite large and quite substantial. It would look really nice displayed on the wall. And the way this was intended to be used was this part was bent around the back like this, and then it was just suspended. So it kind of hung off of the fridge. And you can kind of see how it hangs over there. So that's where that piece would have gone on the fridge. But I really love the artwork of this Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's obviously made uh, custom artwork for this promotion. Um, and it's a really lovely rendering in watercolours and pen and ink. And I also love the way the Jurassic Park logo is fringed by these painterly leaves. It's a really lovely piece of artwork just on its own. And last, but by no means least, we've got this. This is the corner sticker that actually would have been attached to the glass on the top of the freezer. If I bring in the uh, instructions here, you can just see it there in the corner on the top of the freezer. And it says terrifyingly good 28p. And this is such a piece of uh, 90s marketing history. I love it. And I love the artwork of that Tyrannosaurus Rex. Really lovely. It says place on glass freezer lid in rear left corner. And then you peel off this piece and just stick it on the top. Has wrinkled a little bit over time, but um, what a fantastic piece of uh, advertising. So bold and colorful and very 90s. And I think I'd like to get this um, backed with a bit of cardboard and uh, I could have it on display uh, at the back of my cabinet behind my candies and things. I think it would look really good there. So there we go, guys. I thought you would enjoy this close up look at a 1993 point of sale uh, for Jurassic Park Walls ice cream. Um, really, really nice piece and amazing to open it for the first time with you all. I hope you enjoyed this close up look. Now, if you've got any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below. But uh, yeah, really fun. I love opening things like this. It's a real piece of history. Uh, okay, guys, hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.